I'm Naoya, and this is my thesis project, Jemevu. The foundation of my project is based on this question. How might we transform the fashion industry into a circular economy that highlights the unique individuality of people and their experiences to enhance the emotional connection, ultimately extending the longevity of each garment? The value of Jemevu is that it's a circular fashion driven by unique narratives of each garment, enhancing users' emotional connections to the piece and creating social interaction. Romanticized storytelling adds value to clothes and aims to extend its life cycle, all encapsulated within a system that gives an agency to the user to browse, build, and store stories with ease. It has a unique search function to link keywords together to refine the stories. You also have an option to use images to find what you're looking for. Nowadays, with so many sources of inspiration, it makes it easier for you to find the one. To tell your own story, we provide you with a simple step-by-step -step approach to create your digital archive for your piece. When it's time to let it go, then your unique story becomes a valuable asset and someone might relate to what you've experienced. Every piece of clothing comes with tags with Bluetooth low energy chips embedded, and you can access it from your phone. That will take you to each archive of the garment. This tag lets you save your precious moments, and why not show it off? You can also bask in nostalgia, or someone else could strike up a conversation with you. In case if you don't want others seeing it, you can also keep the stories private. By keeping your clothes nine months longer, it helps to reduce 20 to 30% of carbon footprints. Every second, a garbage truck full of clothes are thrown into landfills. Jamavu challenges that by recirculating secondhand garments back into the economy. Jamavu takes the power of social media to real life. The tags only work in close proximity, and that will let you learn more about the piece and more about the person who's wearing it. So why not let your individuality and stories and experiences tell others who you really are? Sustainability is a wicked problem. There are different categories in fashion, and they all have different methods of sustainability. And one of them is a circular economy. That's where Jamivu is situated, and it offers social and individual interaction. The primary user owns a garment with a Jamivu tag. They become the designer and the maker through storytelling mediated by the archive. Secondary users are looking inward by interacting with the primary user. This overall interaction creates a people-to-people -to, -people to the product system. This forms a loop where the primary user entices a secondary user and introduces them to the system. The archive further extends the interaction by enabling the secondary users to see the stories. Primary user also provides their unwanted garments for sale, which secondary users can purchase to enter the system. Once secondary users are entering into the system, they interact with the online platform, the tag, and the archive. They go through a linear system that transforms them into a primary user. Jamibu as a business has a lot of potential to grow. I did a case study on Grailed, which is a New York-based menswear resale site and their estimated annual revenue is $9 million. And the secondhand market is expected to grow up to $33 billion within the next year or so. Based on these numbers, if Jamibu grows to this level within Canada, the annual revenue is at $2.1 million. In 2018, 82% of the population took part in the secondhand market, and clothing was the highest traded goods, taking up 29%. The Canadian secondhand clothing market is worth around $7.9 billion, and the market is expected to grow. With every component combined, I'm confident that Jamibu can be the catalyst for change in the fashion industry. Lastly, I want to thank everyone who has helped me throughout this project. I could not have done this alone. Thank you.